Hey everyone, welcome to Unicorn Desk Designs. We are live, so if you don't enjoy lives, then this ain't gonna be your jam. Um, we are going to make magnets tonight, finally. I hope you guys can hear me. I have my microphone on at the bev here. I'm gonna grab all my resin pieces real quick, you guys. I hopped on because Dawn was talking crap over there. So I was like, I gotta hurry and get on. Okay, hold on. I got a bunch. I don't know what I wanted to do. So I poured literally an entire bottle of resin. This is what an entire bottle, no. It was already open. So it wasn't an entire bottle, but you can see. Now I don't see anybody chatting. Can everybody hear me? Can you comment? So you can kind of see what almost an entire bottle of resin creates like. And these are big pieces. Hey, Kaylin. Hey, Mary. Madonna. Liz. Everyone. Hello, April. So you can see, I didn't know what magnets. I wanted to make magnets for my booth. So let me do my spill. Hey, everybody. My name is Sammy. This is Unicorn Dust Designs, and we are doing a live. We are crafting and chatting, mostly chatting because that, that's just what I do here. Um, I probably will get like one magnet done because uh, <laughs> that's just how I roll here, okay? Um, if you would like to support my channel or my page in any way, um, we always appreciate stars or buy me a coffee. Thank you to everybody that does. And an absolutely free way you can help us out is to share my uh, my life with anybody that you think would be interested. 61 people on. Hello, hello. Hi, Brenda. So, you guys... Um, all the paint products that you see on today's live can be purchased on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. I will be using some Roy Cycle Decoupage paper, and I did become a stockist, you guys, but I don't have it yet. So as soon as I get that, I will be putting it on my website, and I did get this one, I believe. I got like, I want to say 12 different options. I didn't want to go too hard too fast because I don't use them that often. So I didn't know what people would, you know, how you guys would react. Yes, Liz. Thank you. If you guys could hit that like button when you come in, share if you're on Facebook, if you guys have a Facebook and you're on YouTube, if you could switch over to Facebook. I am literally, it's going to probably, I'll be 80 years old before I get monetized on my lives, you guys. No, Jenny, Sir, they actually say that, is there like a big, nope, that's just my hair color. Um, the Roy Cycle decoupage papers can take up to five weeks to get here. So I probably need to order for like fall and Christmas papers now in order to get them in time for crafting. So thank you, Rhonda, for jumping on Facebook. I appreciate it. Hey, Colleen. Oh, no, your power's out. We had a crazy, you guys, we were at Savers and we were shopping and a crazy storm like suddenly passed through and the entire store went black. Everybody was using their phones. It was crazy. I shared to at least five platforms. You're awesome, Madonna. Thank you. So I just get these magne magnetic buttons. Hey, Dawn. Hi, Lola. From um, Dollar Tree. And I think they have smaller versions. So I think there's this size and a smaller one. Trying to make it where you guys could kind of see it. This one comes with 12 in them. And I'm almost positive there is um, a pack and they're smaller than this. So you can get more. Yeah, Dawn, I saw you. Hey, you're early tonight. Hey, Diane. Hi, Gil. Thank you for the stars, Dawn. You are the best. 
Whenever you guys send us stars, it goes towards paying our bills, helping me buy stuff to create content for y'all. So I appreciate it very much. Uh, Laura said, new to your page tonight, but have been watching your videos all day, recovering from a broken ankle. Oh my gosh, Laura. One, I hope you feel better and it's a super speedy recovery. And two, welcome to the community. Um, also, for those of you that are joining me for the first time, I am on StreamYard. So there's Facebook and YouTube going at the same time. Facebook cannot see YouTube's comments. YouTube cannot see Facebook. So anytime there's like a question or something, I will try and read it aloud so that um, you guys are picking up what I'm putting down if I'm like having a conversation. I was just watching your haul from earlier. That was a good haul, wasn't it? All right, I kind of want to do the frames. This one I forgot was like a hollow frame, but I thought how fun would this one be just to paint, put magnets on, and then that way people can put pictures over it, right? And I swear I can never fill this one properly. I always miss the inner like frame part. So it's like missing pieces, but it's fine. Hi, Hank. Do you know I'm on? Well, are you going to say hello? Can you guys even see him? Can you see the creeper at all? Oh, there he is. I'm making stuff right now. Your face is dirty. Oh, and you slobbered on me. Come here. Let me wipe your face. Mommy has baby wipes, right? You need a bath so bad, mister. You're messy. Where'd that slobber go? Probably on me. All right. Everybody's saying hi, Hank. Hello, Tiffany. Hi, Brenda. Everybody's saying hello to you. They don't know how stinky you are, though. I don't have anything up. up I don't have anything for you, dude. All right. Let's set these aside. I'm going to kind of like group the like ones together which ones came up like the same mold. I think the piggy ones, like the farm animal ones will make super cute magnets. I mean, you can't go wrong with the birds. And again, this was like, I had used an open bottle. I don't remember how much was in it, but it was almost like a full bottle. And I was able to get all of these pieces with a full bottle. And like some of these are like, Thick. Like, look at how big this Mamba Jamba is, you know? You should do a Hank emoji for members. Oh, that would be cute. Yes, I'm going to make these magnets for my booth. You got it, Yolanda. Thank you so much, girly. I appreciate you. Hi, Kathy. All right, so I kind of want to start with frames. I mean, we could put decoupage on this. That would be hard. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay. I want to see. And some of like this one, I probably won't like make into a magnet. But guess what? We could use it for something else down the line, I'm sure. So I want to see. This decoupage paper is awesome because there are so many options like I've already used some of it but like look at that I love that it has all of these little ones I really I think I really want to use that one I love the cow I've been waiting to use the cow there's over here farm animal ones I love those hmm I don't feel like the farm animal ones go with the frames, really. I think the frames are too... That one's... I think they're too, like, fancy, you know, for the farmhouse ones. And then this one is far too small. It could do, like, one of the prints in there. This one? 
could possibly. I'm like really trying there. Okay. Let me see. I'm thinking maybe like which one was I gonna do that with? I don't know. Thank you for sharing, April. When I saw the title of the video, it made me want to do the farm animals. They would look super cute on my fridge. Yes. And so, ooh, look at how pretty this one is, you guys. I don't know. I feel like it's not big enough because I'd want to see the full, the horse right there. I would want to see the full image. So, I will, oh, this is a hard decision. I probably should have thought about which ones I wanted to do and had them cut out before because this alone will take me like an hour to decide. Uh, oh, oh, where's, maybe this one would look good, or that one. Let's try this one on the round one. Oh, uh, weird. Okay. There we go. I banned you for you. You're welcome. Okay, let's get some scissors out. And for some reason, these birds are black. And what do you guys think? Do the frame in like a black and a gold or kissing booth could look good? I don't know what this is, but okay. Um, do you guys see that? How it has like the black birds, but then it has some pink as well. Like, I feel like Kissing Booth could look really pretty, but then like black would be so pretty as well. It looks like we have a little troll in here. I love it. I love trolls. <laughs> I'm so glad you have so much to do with your day, but hop on here and just comment, ban me again, ban me again. <laughs> All right, we'll start with this one and see. Oh, that one's pretty too. There's just too many. There's too many and they're so pretty. So I think I will paint the frame first, obviously. And um, kissing booth, and then what? Distress. I'm down to try it. Let's see. Where's kissing booth? Kissing booth is definitely not a color I use all the time. So, hey, Sadie. Oh, that's true, Brenda. Let's see. What did I already get? Oh, it's the Vaseline from the, um, the lid. So we'll go ahead and paint these. I feel like this is something that would be fun to do like on a weekend, having coffee, watching a movie, because some of these are gonna take some extra time to do but I like your idea of what distressing it because then some of that white will come through on the top and that would be really pretty I think this will look really good with the birds and how fun would these be for like gifts during Christmas time like employees co-workers things like that, or just to like get to people at your favorite stores. Maybe I should do that. And I'm going to have to be careful as I go in because I really don't want to get this color on the inside because I want that the middle to be really white. So our decoupage paper will pop. 
We'll have to use um, pennies from heaven on one of these. Maybe the rooster and then um, do a dark wax over the rooster. That would look really cool. I might have to put on my glasses. My eyes are really... Hi, mom. Uh, Jackie, I am painting um, just resin molds and I'm going to make them into magnets. So these came out of several different um, IOD molds that I did today with the quick resin. I did this in between. Hey, thank you, Kathy. Um, but yeah, this color is really pretty. This is Kissing Booth. I don't use it that often. It's a very beautiful, like, fuchsia color as it dries down. Carly, I don't sell the IOD stuff. I wish. Eventually, I will. That's my next, my next goal is to do IOD stuff. Right now, though, I do get my stuff from Bonda over at the paintedheirloom.com. Hi, mom. Okay, now I'm gonna try, cause there is like an inner rim. Try and get that without getting too much on this middle part. But what's nice about this, I don't have a Q-tip with me or anything, but DIY paints are water soluble. So if I had a Q-tip and like I got like a lot in there, I could easily get that Q-tip wet and, um, and wipe that away. Ah, see like that. I got it right there, but that's all right. That's not bad. I could even get, to be honest, a wet paintbrush if it was really bothering me. It's definitely a pink, Molly. Thank you, Lori, for the stars. You'll see as it dries down. I'll probably, I don't know, maybe give it one more coat. I'll show you, it's hard because it looks so much different here than it does there, so we'll see. I painted for the first time in weeks and I've been crazy busy at the salon, but I'm thankful I'm what? Oh girl, and especially being on your feet all day, Yeah, it doesn't matter, uh, Aaron. He just keeps, the person keeps coming back. I've done it several times, so just ignore. Because I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know. Because I could do it, and then they just keep coming back, Aaron. So just ignore. Hey, Helen. So this is what it looks like. It looks, I feel like a little darker right there than it does there. Straight on is more how it looks. Um, I think I'm okay with one coat because I think I'm gonna put some gold on it too. So I'm going to do one coat. It's still kind of like drying in those little details right there. So let me see if I could get those. Hey, Janine, no worries. Thank you, Jackie. Usually, I mean, I've heard for those of you, thank you, Brenda, for the stars. 
for those of you that do decoupaging a lot, um, do you always find that having that white background is like better for decoupaging or do you think it really doesn't like, you know, make a crazy difference? I'm trying to make sure that I get like all the image. I'm hoping I could get this like pretty close to what I need to cut. Or I guess I could always use, um, what do you call it? Like a craft knife or something. The white is best, depends on the colors. Always keep white unless I wanna see a bleed through. Luckily, I have like a little nail right now. Just a little tiny nail. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not the best at decoupage paper. I like how I say that and I'm like, I'm gonna start selling it. <laughs> but I'm not the best at it, but that's okay. I like it, I use it, and I'm sure I'll start using it more and more. All right, let's hope this comes out like decently right. Hey, Don, how's it going? Oh, I feel like I messed it up right there. Ooh, that does look good right there. Okay, I think I'm okay. See, as a crafter, every part of me is like, oh, I want to keep this part of it because it still has a flower. But you know what? We could put that flower on something like that, the small one, and use it for something else. So, see? That's why we keep stuff, you guys. I'm going to grab my liquid patina. Uh, Molly, yes. I probably, Molly asked, um, you mentioned something changing about Sundays during the haul video. It might be that I'm not going to be doing the lives on Sundays anymore. Um, unfortunately, and I hate for it to sound like this, but I don't get paid to come on and I spend about two hours and it's you know, honestly, time I'm taking away from my family. And um, so I just felt that like, if, you know, I'm not, if I'm not like getting paid for my time or anything, that that's, that's time I should be with my family instead, you know, so I hope nobody takes offense, like saying it like that. But um, it's just, I hardly spend time with my family as it is. And I was working so hard to try to get monetized on Facebook and it just like hasn't been happening. And I'm like, I need to like reprioritize like what's important and uh, spending time with my family definitely is. So um, I'm going to take out the lives on Sunday and focus more on family. So. That's not bad. Okay. Can you guys see? I feel like I'm blocking, but I know that you can. Um, hey, Tambu. All right. Let me. So I did the one side, and now I'll come back and do the other. And I have to say, you guys, I'll never go back to Mod Podge. After using this stuff, it is the consistency is so nice. Like I love that it's not, um, super thick and I never have bubbles using the liquid patina and it works amazing. And you could use it for other things too, which is nice. Okay. I'm trying not to smear because I have some of that paint in my cracks. I'm trying not to bring it up on my image. So I think I'll do just one more coat. 
I honestly think you should because I don't think everyone appreciates exactly how much time you take from your family. Thank you, John. I do always hit like. Thank you, Lori. Thank you so much. Yes, that's very true, Colleen, and even more true after losing my brother and stuff. So, and you know, I randomly hop on. Like the other day, I was on, and um, well, on Facebook, and was showing like some of my haul and stuff. So I'll randomly like pop on, but for sure I'll be doing Thursdays. And I also thought, too, um, for Sundays, I want to start a, like, subscription business class for people that are interested in YouTube and social media and building a brand and all of that stuff. And so I was like, it would be a good time, like, Sunday mornings to hold that class if I decide to actually do it. Um and that could be time I could, you know, use for that too, if I decide to go that route. No offense taken, spend time with your families. Oh uh, yeah, and Sunday mornings is bacon day. Hmm. And we have not sold the paint yet. So we can still um, wet the stress. That pink on the edges, and then we would seal it with either wax or the liquid patina. I want to, uh, I don't have any plastic wrap over here. Oh my gosh, I only asked you to do it. <laughs> yes, thank you, sign me up, that would be awesome, yes. Kathy, whenever you watch, girl, I appreciate it. So I don't want you guys to think anything else. I always, always appreciate when you guys come on. I would totally take that class. Ooh, that's awesome. So the member lives, I might um, start switching to a subscription online as well, Jenny, like on my website and then move it over to Facebook because YouTube takes such a large percentage of that that I'm going to try and restructure that as well which we still need to uh, reschedule that mem the last member's life since it was that holiday weekend. Well, um, Kathy, too, the lives will be on Facebook, and then you can watch them anytime. So you can go back and you can watch them. Well, aren't you lucky, Edie? That sounds fabulous. How was it? Edie said that she is coming home from a cruise in Alaska. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm glad we went with Kissing Booth. This looks so pretty. It matches the birds like to the T. Now I hope I got this paper because I would love to do a bigger image. Look at how pretty. I feel like I need like a, no, that's even worse, huh? Maybe like this. Oh, there we go. Look at how pretty that design is with that. Now I'm like, I don't know if I want to what distress the top and bring out the white because the white is, the white is so stark. Maybe I'll just get some like gold or something and just get those details on there. <laughs> Jackie, I will. Jackie said, you're going to have to give me like clear instructions when it all changes because I'm slow. Tech, technically challenged. Everybody loves the birds. No problem, Tambu. Have a good night and thank you. Yeah, right? How can we go wrong with both? Now, I have my gold, you know, my usual gold that I use. But I was thinking I might use something different, like the alchemy. Hmm. Really, I don't think it matters. Hmm. 
Can I just tell you, if you guys have not used these, they smell like heaven. Mom, the magnets aren't going to be for sale on the website. I am going to um, put them in the booth. So I'm just going to try and dust this on. I don't want to cover the entire thing. Just want to bring out the details of the top. And this one is Aged Brass by Art Alchemy. That's what that looks like. Bonda sells all of these on um, her website. Oh, Lori, I wish I could say don't be scared, but I don't know what all is going on. Just know my thoughts are with you. Let's get those edges right there. Oh, yeah, look at how pretty. Oh, wait, where's the camera? Look at how pretty that looks. Okay, and then we'll do the bottom. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It just amazes me how much detail they get into their molds, like shook, 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 shook. On Saturday's video, I'm using some of their new molds, not all of them, but some of them, and then um, some of their new stamps, and oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, let me, I'm trying to, don't want to get it on the rest of the frame, so I'm trying to have a steady hand. Oh, crapola. I should have put my wax on first. I could do a clear wax, though, gently on the majority of the frame. I should have done, like, my wax, my clear coat, and then this. All right, now I'm just going to kind of dust the side so it looks... All together. Oh, that looks so pretty, you guys. Oh, gosh, where are you? I can't see. Like, where? Do you see that detail right there? Aw. Um, says, Sammy, you are an artist at heart. You putting the paint on the back of your hand reminds me of when my mom painted her portraits. That makes me smile. I'm so glad that I could bring back good memories of your mom. <clears throat> and too bad I wasted a bunch. I'll keep it on my hand. Who knows? I might use it again. Hi, Gloria. This doesn't really, I don't think this really dries. No, because it's like a wax, but I'll wrap it just in case. And then I need a smaller brush for my clear wax since I didn't do that first. So... Hang tight. Hey, Veronica, how's it going? What did you use in the middle? I missed that part. Jackie, I use the Roy Cycle Decoupage paper. Don't know like what this specific one is, but I did order it. So when I get all of those, it will be posted. So it has like a lot of like really like tiny, small images, which I love. Um, so I need clear. I'm going to have to use a little brush for this. All right. And if you are on Facebook, if you can share this out, you know, I would appreciate it very, very much. So I'm not getting this on any of that gold because that is a wax and I don't want to smear it or wipe it away. So I'm trying to be careful. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. I was talking to one of my um, subscribers, Jennifer, and she was telling me that she feels that I am like 
an artist and she doesn't feel like I've reached my full potential yet. And it was so funny she said that because I was telling my husband that like, people aren't going to know what hit them when like my kids are in school full time and I actually have like all my kids um, have time to craft because a lot of the things I do, like my videos and stuff, I'm just doing it with what time I have, which is about an hour and a half when Montgomery's napping. And then some of the times on the weekends, you know, in between like doing things and kids and all of that stuff. So I'm like, I can only do what I know I could fit into that time frame. So like a lot of the times I don't use molds and all of that because I don't have the time for them to set up. So I'm like, I, I can only imagine when I have eight hours a day to work on my projects, how awesome it's going to be. Okay, you guys. So this will dry back down again. That's what it looks like. So look at how pretty that is. And again, it'll dry back down and then it'll match those birds again. So that one is beautiful. And again, that was Kissing Booth. Thank you, Lori. Hey, Dee Dee, how are you? Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that. Aaron said, um, I think it's amazing what you get done, Sammy, in your limited time. Uh, I had, for just a little bit, Everett had started school and then I got pregnant with Montgomery. So I had like one year. I think that's when I was putting videos out like three times a week. Put Montgomery in daycare part-time. You work. This is your job. Um, I've thought about that, but I feel like that is like the best part about getting to work from home is that I get to stay home with my kids and, you know, like take them to practice and see Montgomery, like take her first steps and things like that. So I would never want to take that away from the, like in the world, but, um, I do know that I need help. So I actually have, um, a teenager that's going to start coming over three times a week and she's just going to come for two hours after Montgomery's nap. So it's like, I'll get two hours while Montgomery's napping. And then I'll get the two hours while she comes over and helps. And I'm still in the house and everything. So if she needs help and she's a super responsible teen, she was my um, cheer assistant. So I stayed home with my four. It's the best job ever. True. I understand. I meant just don't feel guilty. Yeah, I wouldn't, Dawn. I wouldn't. I mean, I know that I'm going to need help at some point. And I think it's just, especially daycare, it's being able to afford it too. You know, like wowzers. I feel like this one needs to be done. This like gaudy piece. Which one do you guys want? Do you, are, do you guys want to see the rooster with the liquid, um, with the pennies from heaven and dark wax? That could be cute. Or a flower. I feel like the flower I'd want to like actually paint like a couple colors or like this one, or do we want to see more decoupage with the frames? What do y'all think? <laughs> Jackie, the rooster. Okay. Let's do the rooster next. And then I could go back to doing a decoupage. And then I want to make sure that I stick this flower on something. Okay, pennies from heaven, and then we'll do dark wax. You can also, too, keep in mind, you guys, that you can use dark and decrepit as, like, a glaze. So that one, and then the barn wood you could use as a glaze as well. So they can be used as decoupage mediums, top coats, stains, and glazes. So keep that in mind. Okay, got it open. Hi, baby. What you doing? Nothing really. Nothing really? I know why you came down here. Why? Because you want to help. Mommy, why is this thing off here? It's because look, I'm on the I'm on the right. Uh-huh. It's because it's turn. Uh Denise, I'm gonna be doing my lives on just on Thursday nights. And then I will still be doing the um, last Sunday of the month for um, 
members. We have to reschedule the one since we had a holiday. And then, um, yeah, and then I'll hop on more so Facebook to do lives like randomly. So I haven't made a fun magnet board yet, Molly, but I do have like one that I've had forever from Michael's that's like a wood frame and then the metal in the middle. So I'll definitely be doing that one. All right, let me get a smaller brush. Hey, Angie, you lucky, lucky girl. What is the weather like in Costa Rica? Angie does. She's somebody who's watching right now. Yeah. That is a subscriber. No problem, Sanja. If you guys could hit that like, the heart button. Um, Denise, I've never done lives on Tuesdays. I've always done them on Thursday evenings and Sunday mornings. Hi. Hi. I see your face, honey. It's opposite. I can never do the opposite eye. I'm just reading. You're reading? I'm reading. I'm but you reading. never read your books. So. I don't read my books. No, because I don't have time. Yeah. I said one day when you guys are all grown up, I'll read all of my books. When I'm 17? That's not grown up. 18. No, 19. That's still not going to be grown no, up. No, 19. 19 grown up. No, You're 20. So funny. Thank no, you, 20, Lori, 20. for sending stars. Thank you, thank you. Can you say thank you, Lori? Thank you, Lori. Oh, I don't. I'll have to cut that piece out. Oh, you're gonna cut it? Yeah. Like you made it one hour ago. I'm yeah. just kidding. Ninety hours ago. Okay, buddy. I need you to go back upstairs because it's a little late for you to be on the internet with me. Okay. Okay. Remember, I told you I'll save some of these pieces and then we can paint them tomorrow, okay? Okay. Me, you, and Sissy. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Madonna. What'd you say? Madonna said, honestly, I would love to see someone ah, give us the gist of the craft and then show us the end result and not drag on and on like some of the resin people do, showing the taping and on and on, it gets sort of boring. I try to speed my videos up as much as I can, but also explain it because I do realize that like not everybody who's watching is like a um, seasoned crafter. So I always try to keep that in mind and like give the details, but not make it boring. So I hope I do a good job at that. So we are going to need a second coat for sure on this. Thank you, Madonna. Angie said it's been raining all day in Costa Rica and she's enjoying every minute of it. Sandra's baby's turning 32 next week. Oh, yeah, I don't think they'll ever be grown to me. Thank you, Gloria. I love all the new techniques that you teach us. I appreciate you showing what you do because I definitely am not seasoned. Thank you, Madonna, for this super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Good night, Dawn. Thank you, Aaron, for the stars. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Um, this stuff dries really fast. So this is technically a patina. So like how we have all of the liquid patinas. This is considered a patina, except it's copper patina. So babies are 32 and 35. Oh, I don't want that day to come. 
This is beautiful for uh, the pennies from heaven to like top things with. I think I did not wait for it to dry. I have learned so much from you. That makes me so happy, especially as I change and like evolve and I always want to learn and try new things. So I'm glad that you guys enjoy that too. Cause I'm all for trying new things for sure. I mean, we're crafters. I think all of us are like, see a new thing and you're like, Oh, I want to try that. Oh, I want to do that. Oh, is that going to work? Like watching like TikTok videos and stuff. And you're like, Oh my gosh, I got to try that now. Oh, thank you, Kate. I appreciate those words. All right. This is looking good. I have a pair of candlesticks that are just white, uh, but they have like this lattice looking like center to them. And I really want to use the pennies from heaven and dark wax. I think they would look so cool. Patina, that copper girl. <laughs> All right. Let me get get your head here without moving you all around. Anybody else talk to their crafts like that? Like, come here. I got you. Don't worry. I get all ADHD watching everyone else's videos. <laughs> Gloria said, I've been looking at items at their stores going, what would Sammy do? You could use the things that go on Crocs and glue the resin pieces onto it. Yes. Mm. What spray? Somebody said, put that, the spray on it. What spray? I don't have a spray. All right. I think we covered this baby up really good. I talk to my crafts too. Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to know what I say to my crafts. Oh my gosh. I love that. Oh, I don't have patina spray. I can make my own patina though, using the, um, I could do that as well with the, um, shipwrecked wax. You know what, uh, Jenny, if you're still here, the farm animals, these would look really good in the copper. Make sure I did not miss. Yep, see, I missed a little bit on the head. A little bit right there, and I feel like that could use a little bit more coverage. Oh, see. Do you guys feel as a magnet that I should paint the backs or do you think that doesn't matter? I didn't even think about that until now. I mean, I really don't think, I mean, I feel like that's wasted paint. I don't think it necessarily will make it look unfinished. You know, I used black and copper on my pumpkin and showed on, oh, look at that. Sammy, I came in late. Did you make those molds? I did. I used all my IOD molds with the amazing resin that sets up in 10 minutes. Paint my backs. I don't think the backs need to be painted. I don't think the backs need to be painted. And I'll be selling mine too. That's why I'm like asking. I don't know. I just, usually I like paint the back of all of my stuff, but for like a magnet, I just feel like you're not going to see the back of it. I mean, I could give it one. Now I feel like I have to paint the backs. Cause I'm like, I don't want somebody. It's kind of weird. Cause the backs of them, do you see how that like goes on?
it's kind of weird how it goes on the back. Like the the front dries and has like a kind of like a gritty kind of texture to it, but the back doesn't, which is kind of weird. Christy is a leaf maker, but started watching my wood round videos for a change of pace. Have you made one yourself, Christy? Wish there was a buy Sammy a bottle of wine. Oh, you're too sweet. I actually don't drink wine. It makes my face so hot. I, I don't know if anybody else has that problem. But it literally, my ears and my face completely just like, no, the magnets don't cover the whole back. They're these little ones right here. There's no paint on the back, then leave it. Yes, as gifts. That's true. Store-bought magnets don't look the same on the front as they do the back. That is very true. I always, if I am, if I think to myself, would you look at the back of a magnet and be like, uh, they didn't paint this, then I would paint it. But usually if it was a magnet, I don't think I would think that way. But we painted this one. <laughs> hey, Kendra, how are you? Yolanda, thank you so much for buying me a coffee. I can't see those on um, YouTube or anything. I'll see them like in an email after I get off. So thank you so much for letting me know. The glue will set up better on the unpainted surface. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I will. I feel like if the back is clean, it's not a big deal, but sometimes paint from the front gets on there and then it needs to be finished off. I agree. Okay. I need to get, there's something under his butt. Some resin I didn't get off. Now I'm like, I wonder if I should liquid patina it with dark and decrepit and then go over with the, um, duh, there's like a mat right here. Um, go over with shipwrecked. I knew I should have taken this out. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, man. But now it's white. <laughs> and I just uh, brush in the water. Dying it. That's all right. Got to fix it. Artle. Uh, that's fine, Jackie. That's what I have on there because that's what I drink our energy drinks. I don't drink coffee. It's just called Buy Me a Coffee, the like actual like website that I use. But you guys know I'm addicted to my energy drinks. Thank you for sharing, Erin. You guys are awesome. I love hanging out with you guys. Okay, let me dry his butt real quick. All right. Let's try it out, liquid patina. You are so welcome, TMA. Thank you for sharing, Kathy. All right, we got him out. Oh, no, I just see this. Anybody else like put things away and then realize like, okay, I needed that. Why did I put that away? Or you put the wrong thing away and you're like, why? Why am I doing double the work right now? <sighs> okay. I'm going to try dark and decrepit on it because it's going to dry down, but I still will get that like dark look that we wanted out of the dark wax. And then we can see if we want to add the, um, the shipwrecked wax to it. So that might be fun. I did get back in stock for those of you that have been waiting um, on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com, 
I did get back all of uh, Marquee and uh, Hey Sailor, Cowgirl, Coral, Fancy Farm Girl, and Apothecary. So all of the ones that I was out of stock in, I did get them back. All right. Let's use this liquid patina. So you can see it goes on like runny. But you have to work fast too because like I've said, it is also a top coat and stuff. So you don't want it to dry down on there. Making sure like I got the sides. Um, for everybody that visited my Facebook and left my sister-in-law those encouraging words on her first day back at work. I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I knew I was able to go to you guys and, you know, ask for that, that support, um, for her. Oh, it's kind of wiping off probably cause I didn't let it set up long enough. It's kind of wiping off that with, um, the pennies from heaven, probably cause I didn't let it dry. So thank you guys so much for those of you guys that left her encouraging words on Facebook. I could put the wax right there though. That looks good. Look at that. Well, I'll show it to you this way because that way it doesn't seem to be. You guys see how it's settled? I kind of like how that looks better than the wax actually. That looks really good on there. And then I could quickly dry it. Jackie said, you don't have to scold me. My mom does it all the time. Actually, she was so good and she didn't do it once while she was here. She's probably like, I've told her a million times. Diana, I, I was telling um, Jenny that was on here that I need to order it now because the deco posh papers take like a month to receive. Lindsay, I feel like it's been so long. I feel like you're never on anymore. Uh, Lindsay, I usually, you could ask anybody on here, usually ship like pretty dang quick. If it's not a day, maybe three days. I mean, unless something comes up or I'm completely slammed, my website says up to two weeks just because obviously things come up and I'm, you know, crazy busy. But for the most part, my stuff goes out like crazy quick. Um, I do need to get another DIY brush cleaner from you, though, because I dropped mine today and it cracked the container. Have you guys ever tried the DIY brush cleaner? Because I have, and it's so funny you said that, Erin, because I don't have them on my website yet. I have six of them, but I haven't put them on the website yet. And because uh, I wanted to try mine first before, you know, selling it. I didn't want to sell something that I didn't believe in. So um, I tried it and it's amazing. Amazing. I miss you too, Lindsay. I know you're busy with your kiddos and stuff though. Um, so now we're going to take the shipwrecked and I'm going to kind of dab this on here. I'm going to dab it on the kind of the spots that are missing <sighs> some stuff. I don't know how much I'm really, yeah, you know what it is? It's because I keep on putting the heat on this. That's what it's doing because it's kind of like melting the wax. So that's, that was the problem. I keep on applying heat. All right, let me get a little bit on your feetsies here so you look cohesive. Oh, I love this, you guys. Thank you guys for all of your ideas. Look at how cool that looks. I kind of wish this one was a little darker. I could probably wipe a little bit of it off. It's just because I have that white spot right there, but. I wonder if I could put, well, now I already put the wax right there, but maybe if I do, I'm going to wipe that wax back right there. We're going to try. 
I don't know if I can zoom in. Let me see. That would be my phone. Um, Cam. Oh, no. Okay. Ah! Um, I don't think you can, Kendra. I know usually I have bigger... Did I like move? Yeah, I don't think I could zoom maybe on here. Oh, no, that just shows me bigger. Um, yeah, I don't think I could zoom. Sorry. And I don't think... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we'll just leave it like this. Sorry, I'll hold it up to the this screen though. I'm sorry, you guys. I am wanting to fix this because I can't stand that this little piece right here is like wider than the rest of the piece. Okay, that'll dry down and it'll look good. All right, so I will hold that up close so you can see it. We do not have to clear any of this because the liquid patina is basically a clear coat and then you got your wax on there, so you are good to go. So here is how our rooster came out. Look at how good that looks. I love it. Oh, we should probably be putting the magnets on them, huh? Just, just making a bunch to paint just you know just because this shipwrecked wax you guys is amazing um i've been using type one for everything but i think i'll use the gorilla glue you know just to be safe so i'll put that on that one Hey, when the glue does that, when it starts like splooging out, I feel like this one should be fine with one magnet. I think. Gosh, stop it. All right, hurry up, put it back on. Kendra said, I love the shipwreck. I finally used it on some medallion molds. I saw that and it turned out so pretty. All right, good. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, usually my piece. <laughs> My pieces are a lot bigger than this, but you guys saw that one. I just love, look at that. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> and I'm moving my magnet, but you guys see how pretty. Oh my gosh, those birds look so good with that. So good. Okay, so we got that, we got that. Thank you, Dawn, so much. Madonna said, just check my packages from you and they're adorable and in perfect condition as described. Thank you for all your hard work. You're so welcome, Madonna. Hey, if I could thrift for y'all and you guys are going to buy it, I will definitely take care of it <laughs> because I love doing it. That's for sure. I use the dark whack on a wax on the pumpkin with mushrooms. I did and used the dark wax and white wax mixed together on the pumpkin with green leaves. All of your, um, your pumpkins have been beautiful. Splooching. I was like slouching. What? You could also attach the magnets to paper and lay over the back of the magnet while it sets up so the magnets are embedded in the resin. Oh, yes, Jenny. Good idea. I wasn't thinking of that when I, when I went for it. I really want to do this big frame. It's really skinny, though. Um... I want to use this 
stained cow on something, but I don't want to cut off its face. Um, I don't think you will fit. I don't want to cut off that. How to find the right one, you guys. Oh, so many decisions. You guys. Oh. I was thinking maybe her. Mm, this one would look pretty to the dragonflies. Or what's that one? Oh, that one's really pretty. All right. Okay. I'll let you guys decide. Do we do another decoupage one? Or do you want one of the flowers done? Or we have like um, some of these medallion ones. So medallions, flowers, or decoupage. We're going to do one more. And then, you guys, I'll probably never touch these magnets again. <laughs> I made all of these to do magnets. And then I'm like, when am I going to have time? I'm just going to, like, come on every live, and we're just going to work on these magnets until I actually finish all of them. I don't know what mulberry paper is. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Okay. Flowers. Looks like most of you guys said flowers. So we'll do a flower. Because it'll probably take me like an hour just to decide what decoupage paper I want to use on the next frame. But I will. I use IOD molds, Lindsay. It's like rice paper. No, I haven't. I'm not sure. It's pretty... It's nice and thin, I mean, but it's thick and I feel like it never, like it looks like it wrinkles while it's wet. And then once you dry it down, it like really smooths out, which is really nice. Huh, okay. I think I wanna do this one cause it has like a couple different layers here. We'll see if I can achieve the layers. All right, come on. Get over here. Got my got my rolly my rolly thing. Oh, do some. Oh wait, do some that are quicker so you can think about what paper to use on the other one, right? Um. Yes, I. When was it? The the patriotic DIYs I did. I just printed some images from Graphic Fairies onto tissue paper. I'm trying to think of the color combo I want to use here. I already thought of it. I already thought of it. Now, which colors do I use first, though? That is the question. Maybe, gosh, Sammy. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it, you guys. Not gypsy green. You guys like how I talk you through this? <laughs> Where is, oh, oh gosh, never mind. I'll use Gypsy Green. I was gonna pull Aviary out, but it's in a bigger can and I don't feel like doing that. Okay. Yes, the painted photographer, I have, she has the most beautiful images. I, I've never used it before, but she is so very talented. All right, see, this is where like, when I see people doing um, the molds and stuff like that and how precise they are with the colors, I'm like, how did you do that? Because my first thought is just to go over the whole thing with one color and then distress it down, which is kind of what I'm gonna do here. Like I'm gonna go put this green on here. I'm not going to be like too 
precise, put my bohemian blue, and then distress it down to that color, we'll see if it works. Because the resin is kind of slick. My eyes need to be wearing my glasses on these, yeah. I wouldn't have the patience for detail work like that. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to grab my glasses to this because my eyes are not having it. They're probably dirty too. Okay, we're back. <laughs> You guys are probably like, uh, that looks like a hot mess. You guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. My thought process is do the green, do bohemian blue over it all. And then when you go back to distress the leaves, the green is going to show through the blue. Okay, we picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to dry it. I'm going to put a second coat on it because I don't want, once this is dry, for it to wipe down to white. You guys, I promise there is, there is a look. I look crazy right now. I look like squints from Sandlot right now. This should not be happening on social media right now. Okay? I don't want to apply too much heat to it. darken this up. This is gypsy green that I'm using on here. Not that you guys can see all the way up there. <laughs> I... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Kendra. so quiet. Thank you, ladies. I promise I wasn't fishing for a compliment. I just looked at myself and was like, whoa, no makeup, hair in a bun. You definitely look like you're taking the kids to school in the drop it offline, you know? Where you think nobody is going to see you. What am I talking about? I am definitely the type of person that like you're going to see on people of Walmart. I don't care how I look <laughs> when I go out at all. Oh, I don't know um, if you can mix colors in quick resin. I've never tried it. Like, are you talking kind of like mica powders and stuff? I, I've never gotten like too crazy with the resin or anything like that, so... I'm not sure. I've only used it for molds. I mean, yeah, I wonder how that would work since they kind of like dry down. Um, since they, what am I trying to say? Dry down white. Hey, Rhonda. All right, let's try this. I swear I have a vision, okay? We just don't know. We just don't know if it's going to come to light. And then I think I'm going to take Big Top or Liquid Patina, doesn't matter. 
Um, uh, Rhonda said you can, but everyone I've seen recommends putting colors in A and blends before you mix with part B. So that's some good information. Thank you, Rhonda. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Big Pop, or you know what, Liquid Patina is right here. So I'll use, man, I'm a mess. I got stuff everywhere, you guys. I like how I move one thing to make it look like I don't have a mess. And remember, you guys can find all of the products on unicorndustdesigns.com. I'm the same way. I'm one of those people who go to Walmart and PJs and would probably watch. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely will go looking exactly how I look right now. Okay. Let me get, I don't have many little brushes. I don't really do detail stuff. There's like another little one. Okay, so I'm putting the liquid patina on because when, I don't like this brush. It's really flimsy, but it's getting in the cracks and stuff. When I distress it back down, I don't want the green to wipe back down to the white base. So I'm clearing it to ensure that the green doesn't go anywhere. I want it to show through once I distress the bohemian blue, but I don't want to distress the green itself. So I hope you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Seven up to the wine and that filling will go away. Don't lie. When you put on your yoga pants and go to Walmart, everybody is staring. My mom, she thinks everybody thinks I'm like the finest looking person in the world. She's, she's a mom. She's a mom. Of course she thinks everybody thinks I'm pretty. She's so funny. All right, almost done here. The kids will have fun um, painting some of this stuff. Everett was really, he's so cute. He's been wanting to like help a lot more. And I'm sure it's because he's home bored, but like with the website and stuff like that, you know, like he asked if he can learn how to um, post things on the website. And then like last night I gave him a job of taking the tags off and like getting the goo gone and like getting all the sticky stuff off. But like, he really wants to like learn, which I think is the coolest thing ever. Okay. Why do I have all these brushes here? I don't remember what, what is for. I think this was liquid patina. This was, I think, clear wax. So I'm going to wash it. What was this one for you guys? Oh, the wax that's been on the back of my hand. My bad. That probably rubbed off and everything. Yes, I do, Dawn. Yeah, so true. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Erin. Thank you, I'm really hoping this is like going to turn out how I envisioned it in my mind. And some of these too, like I'll just paint one color and like wax with white or something like that. Um, something a little easier. Am painting these were yeah the quick um I should probably have mixed up a little better. This was the amazing run, yeah, the quick cure.
I think I'm so patient with my kiddos because they're really, really good. Be careful with the energy drinks. They are terrible for your heart. I know. When I say that, like, I know. And then here I am, like, drinking them every day. All right. Let's, we'll start in the middle. That way it'll give my leaves time to dry. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this color, but it's so beautiful. Like the prettiest blue when it dries down. Because right now it looks like super dark. Let me show you. So that's what it looks like wet, but it does not dry down like that at all. Oh, if I had a really steady hand, just this blue with this green is beautiful. I'll have to use it on something else. Yeah, I don't have that steady of a hand. And that's exactly why I was like, I am going to top this. Hey, Debbie. Look at how good these two colors look together. Those look so pretty. And like I said, if I had a steady hand, I would just go in and do it separately, but I don't. So that's why we're gonna cover the green up and then just stress it down to see the green, hopefully. Like I said, don't know. I mean, it should work. It's no different than if I was doing it on like a sign or metal. So we'll see if the vision works. And then in the middle, I'll probably do gold. <laughs> My husband's addicted to monster energy drinks. My husband drinks monster energy drinks too. like a fly or something. What the heck? Yeah. Something. Uh, this is Bohemian Blue, Tiffany. So you'll start seeing it um, dry down and it is the most beautiful color. Yeah, there's definitely something up in my window. I can only imagine what my face looks like right now, like my concentration face, because <laughs> I'm like so into this. I don't know how I did it, but I made gorgeous children. People are always like, wow, your kids are G, like they're surprised. However, it does get awkward sometimes when they keep on about my son. Oh, Jackie, my mom, she always call, used to call my, well, she still calls my brother, her oh so handsome son. And um, he was definitely a good looking man. Definitely had like the most piercing blue eyes you will ever, ever see. It was crazy how blue his eyes were. You are so welcome, Lisa. Thank you for ordering the paint. I hope you love all the goodies. I mean, how can you not, though? How can you not love DIY paint? Oh. Whose name, Aaron? Well, they went away. I think they did. Yeah, I haven't seen them. Probably was like, nobody's reacting to me. I guess I'll get off. That's why I say just ignore them. Oh, Emily. Is anyone being affected by the smoke from the fires in Canada? That is what somebody asked on Facebook. Okay, we're good. All right, let's try this down. I'm probably going to need two coats.
Fran, who's a very talented man. Your sister-in-law seems so sweet. She commented back. That was awesome. Yeah, she was having a tough time going back to work. And I knew y'all would be there to help her out. I love my paints and my thing I bought from one of your hardest working moms ever. You are awesome. Thank you so much for that compliment. Ah, all of a sudden. I am definitely going to order paint. It looks so fun and they are gorgeous colors. Oh, my brother. He is very talented. Um, the last time we were in California, I got to bring home one of the helmets he painted. So I was really happy about that. I don't want to get the resin piece too hot. Oh, I missed a piece. Like you can see the coverage on this is amazing. Like that was stark white. And look at that, you guys. Look at how pretty that color is. What does it look like up here? Dark. Huh. That's what it looks like up here. Let me see. Oh, see, yeah. Oh, it's drying down. So pretty. Ooh, you guys, this would look pretty with black wax on it. Hey, Debbie. This is the Bohemian Blue. Looks like there's just some little spots that didn't get covered. But other than that, I think I'm going to leave it with just this coat. I think. Yeah, I don't need to. And then I will distress the leaves with a baby wipe as best I can. And then I'm going to do the black wax and then we'll do a gold wax in the middle. All right. So let's put our, our stuff back and I always label mine on the top. I wish they would put like the label on top because they're on like the sides. And unless, I mean, you have them like up on a shelf, I have the, all of my paints on a cart. So it's easier for me to like look over and see all of like the names on top. Uh, thank you. I'm trying to decide what color to do the booth because we're allowed to paint the back wall and then there's like a side wall and I want to use that Cubano stamp or whatever that I used on my porch on the back wall and then do the side wall solid. And I was thinking faded burlap and like skeleton key just because they're kind of lighter colors. So like whatever I put into the booth won't like compete with it, you know, because I thought about using bohemian blue on the back wall, but then I felt like things would compete against the color. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yes, it would be so pretty on a dresser. Okay, let's see if this will distress. Yes, Jeffrey. I wish I had a... Oh, all right. I wiped a little too hard because the white started peeking through. But if you can see, where are you? See the green coming through? So it won't be like crazy, oh my gosh, green. Um, but I do like that the green's peeking through so that you know it's leaves and not petals, you know? It's just the little, the little things, you know, the little details that maybe will catch somebody's attention and be like, wow, look at that green petal. I'm buying that. <laughs> hey, Lisa, great idea to label the paint color on top will make much easier to find. Yes, yes, yes. 
and I'll show you like my cart so you can see like what I'm talking about. Not like you guys don't understand it, but this makes it so much easier. Because I was like having to like pick up every single one to see what it was. Yeah, see that one. Dang it. You could see I distressed that one like way too far down. And you could see the white, but all the other ones just show that hint of green. So now I'm going to put some clear wax on it first. And I want to do the clear wax first because I want to be able to move and wipe back that black wax. And then we'll go in with our gold wax. Ooh. Lisa good. You never know what Sammy has done. Such a faithful crafter artist. All right. Love this blue. Oh my gosh. It makes me so happy. I will say though that this blue transfers. So whatever you use with it, you're not going to be able to use on another project without washing. You guys can like my paper towels fell. Without washing your brushes. So just keep that in mind. It does transfer. <laughs> Lindsay, I feel you, girl. I feel you to my core, okay? That's what I say too. One day, one day, I'll have all the times. I say that, but then it's like, um, like if my kids end up wanting to do sports or something, I'm sure that's going to be time consuming. And I could dream. I could dream of just the kids being in school and me getting to craft all day long. Oh my gosh. So you can see this is darkening up, but it will not stay that way. It'll dry back down and you'll be able to see that beautiful blue color again. So I got that on. I think I should actually be okay because that one did it. <clears throat> I keep meaning to post the paint swatches. Oh yeah, that would be awesome, Erin. So many people would appreciate that. Okay, now we got our black. Do I have a black brush? Yep, I do. It says black on it. They'll be grown before you know it. I know. Already, I feel like Everett's little personality just like in this. <laughs> you guys, can you tell I don't use the black wax? <laughs> that is literally all that's out of it. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I wonder what I even used it on. That's pretty funny. Well, obviously I do not use black a lot. It kind of sucks though because you're not really going to see the real beauty of it until like it dries down because it's really going to be pretty once that the clear wax dries back down. All right, we're just going to go for it. Oh, Tiffany, next time tell me. I usually reply pretty quickly on, um, what do you call that? Instagram. You just give a heads up. I'm not, I don't know. Ooh, Pamela said black wax looks gorgeous with the new crockery paint. Is there a lot of difference between the dark wax and the black wax? Yeah, the dark wax is brown so like it's gonna look more like antique -y. yes mom my mom said the oh me it's kind of like wiping back the blue as I'm wiping back this black but see the paint got so dark from the wax that I don't even really know where that black wax is settling into 
So I guess it'll be a surprise for us once it dries down and I'll post <laughs> pictures because Yeah, I don't know where the black is or if I put enough on there. So we'll leave that as is for now. I don't want to totally cover that blue. And then I will take golden rule. And just dip my finger in there. And then go in. I'm literally just tapping this with like like going up and down motions. I could hear my husband snoring upstairs. <sighs> it makes me want to put it on everything. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait till this one dries down. I wonder if I, if my fingers are small enough. Sorry, you guys, I'm concentrating. I'm really trying to just get it. Dang it. Just wipe it off on me. There we go. Wipe it off. Try and just get it on those, on the leaf petals. Where are you? Just, just a little, 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 little tiny bit. My mom said I get my gift from gifts of gab from her, which is very true. My mom can talk to anybody. She could talk for a long time. But definitely social. I get from my mom, yeah. Ooh, this is gonna look so beautiful, dragged down. Not wait to show you guys. <laughs> she said, well, it's a wonderful gift. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie said, don't forget to click the like button. There are 104 people on and only 70 likes. Thank you so much, Debbie, for having my back. All right. So we're going to leave it like that, and then we'll see what it looks like dried down. Again, I will post a picture that is going to be so pretty so we did that one you guys I wonder which one ever it's going to want to do tomorrow and then we could put them on our oh man that one moved I really like that rooster we did the rooster Gave him some patina, the like magnet shift it. That's the only reason I don't like using that Gorilla Glue and stuff because it moves. I really like that quick and thick because it sets up right away. And I didn't want to use hot glue because I was just like afraid of it separating with like the slickness of the resin. So I didn't want to do that either. And then we did this one, which is my favorite, I think. Look at, I just love this one. Look at how gorgeous. I just can't get over how good this pink looks with this. Imagine like um, maybe like a chair, like I have old chairs in my shed painting at the kissing booth and then doing this on like the seat of the chair or something like that, that would be really pretty. I wonder if I ordered that paper. I don't know. But y'all, 
thank you so much for spending your time with me. Um, I will be back on Saturday with a video. I'm going to be using some of the new IOD products. Like I'm using like one of the stamps, one of the molds, one of the paint inlays. Um, and yeah, so I'll be using playing around with like a couple of them. And then I think next Tuesday, I'm going to do another, um, dupe versus thrift, um, video, because I don't know if you guys have been on the website antique farmhouse, but get ready to go down a rabbit hole. Okay. Have any of y'all been on that website? Have any of y'all? Because that was a mistake. Okay. That was a mistake. It's addicting. You won't want to stop looking. Um, if, yeah, if you thought like you loved Kirkland's and stuff like that, this is on like a whole nother level. And it is like the prices are actually, I think, pretty decent. It's called Antique Farmhouse. <clears throat> they like randomly popped up on my, I think, Pinterest one time. And then, and then I couldn't stop. I have screenshots of so many dupes that we can do from there. It's insane. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to show you guys those. Get ready to go down the rabbit hole. So yes, I will post a picture of these. All paint products are on unicorndustdesigns.com. Thank you all for spending your evenings with me, for shopping with me, for sending me stars and buying me a coffees, and just for chatting and hanging out with me. You guys know I really enjoy it. I mean, who doesn't like hanging out with like a bunch of friends talking about the things that you enjoy doing? You know, like, I think that is pretty dang awesome. So have an amazing night, an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. And I love you, mom. Oh, too bad. This is not a touch screen. I tried to touch the end broadcast. It's not a touch screen, you guys. Okay, bye.